All right. Well, real quick, before we go to break, let's go to this other counterpart of this backfield, this Browns backfield, little Duke Johnson. He's coming alive. He was left for dead at the beginning of the season, not doing anything for you. They fire the coach. They fire the offensive coordinator. They promote the running backs coach. All of a sudden, Duke Johnson starts to get a little bit of work. Uh, didn't do too much uh, week seven and eight versus Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh, but the last two weeks against Kansas City and Atlanta, pretty solid output. Helps you out with a couple touchdowns. Two touchdowns versus Kansas City. Catches nine balls. It's a ton of balls to catch. Looking at the <laughs> stats, he's got 1.32 uh, points per opportunity, which is good for 11th best among running backs in the NFL. He's just not getting that many opportunities. Sure. We've been bringing him up on this show. We've been, we brought up Nick Chubb several times. I don't know if it was maybe on Patreon or not, but we've been saying go try and acquire. I, I have at least been trying to say go acquire some Duke Johnson. I've been trying to get him in some of my leagues. Uh, but, you know, that window is slowly closing to, to buy low on Nick Chubb, or sorry, Duke Johnson, if it hasn't already slammed shut with a couple of solid uh, games here. Uh, the elusive rating is, is great. It's like seventh best in the league. Uh, it doesn't have as many opportunities as these, these other backs that are in that category. So the overall tackles broken, isn't sure. the hugest number, biggest number, but, but the elusive rating on, on broken tackles per opportunity is great. Just like the points yeah. that he's getting per opportunity is awesome. I think that, uh, the Browns offense is on the up. I think they're young. They're going to grow. He's paid. He's not going anywhere. Uh, it seems like him and Baker are getting on the same page. Baker seems to be getting better and better every week. You know, I don't can't give up a one to get Duke Johnson, but I mean, I'd I'd be down to give up a two all day. I don't know that that's going to get it done though. I mean, it could, and it probably probably should, unless you're super deep and you got to start a bunch of positions. Like you got, we got that sixteen man league. You're talking about you've been starting Duke all year because you had some injuries in a sixteen man league, right? Um, the pro, like the points per opportunity. And when you're playing PPR and you got a guy who doesn't get a lot of rushing attempts, it's always going to be a solid ratio if he can catch the ball. And that's obviously Duke Johnson. So, uh, again, the theme here is not enough opportunity for mm -hmm. Duke Johnson. On the season right now, he's got 26 carries. That just ain't going to cut it. That's like one good game. That's like a beastly game, but it's taking him 10 to get there. So it's, that's what's making you pull your hair out. But not even last year when he was a back-end RB1 were you living on the attempts. It was the catches that was crushing. And – He's, you know, like you said, just was left to, for dead to start the season. And the coming out party was against the Chiefs. I just mentioned this a minute ago when we were talking about Chubb was they were chasing the Chiefs, right? So he gets nine catches, and obviously the two touchdowns are just glorious. But this week, they're up. It was a close game, back and forth, low scoring for the first half. But then once they got that turnover, put it in the end zone, and then Chubb broke that 90-yarder. They're not chasing the Falcons anymore, so that's yeah. He got your touchdown, but it's four catches for thirty-one yards. Like that's the problem. You would imagine that the Browns are behind more than they're in front. Obviously, you catch the dome team, Atlanta, on the road. They had just got a nice victory the week before on the road against the Washington Redskins. Played their best game of the year, maybe the Atlanta did, and then they come over here and just get slapped up by the Browns. Get handled by the Browns. I won't mm -hmm. say they got slapped up until the end of the game, but you know that's. If if the if the Browns aren't chasing the Chiefs every week, where does Duke's catches come from? Do do they need him in the slot more? Sure. Do they have Jarvis Landry? Yeah, but it would be in my eyes a really good thing for this team to try to utilize both at the same time because they are really looking for weapons all of a sudden. Where they come into the league, come into the season where you remember that stat about the Browns with like six players in the top hundred for ADP for you know dynasty that. Maybe it was five, but I think it might have been six. But either way, that's still they had the most players in the top 100 of any team. And Njoku's hit and miss right now. He's still 22 years old, one of the best youngest tight ends in the league with maybe the most upside you know, physically, but just up here and there with the targets. Jarvis Landry's not here right this second with the completions. The targets are there still, but it's really been hit or miss for a couple weeks here with the with – the, uh, getting things going with the new offensive coordinator, at least with the old offensive coordinator, the targets were plenty and the completions were there too for your PPR floor. Uh, it's just, I I like where your head's at with the acquiring Duke Johnson cheap because when you first said to, something to me today, I was like, yeah, I'd take if the, if the 
Worst team in the league wanted to offer me a second round pick. If I could get that quote unquote early second for Duke, I said I would take it so I could do something with that early second round. Because immediately in my mind, I'm thinking, well, that's where you could got the Anthony Millers of the world this year going into the draft. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But then you you, weren't taking Anthony Miller. But I mean, I'm taking running backs. But uh, yeah, after the case, after the fact, you know, hindsight's 2020. I mean, you. Sure, I can pick out the guys now. Right, but you're not going to get Anthony Miller because you don't want to take a running back or a wide receiver. I still want to take running backs. So no doubt about it. But the thing is, you so don't tell me you're going to get Anthony Miller. It's two one because you're not a young quarterback, a young team, a young running back, and Duke still he's not old. Mm-mm. There is, uh, I think, there's enough room for improvement. Twenty five in this situation to I probably it would probably be better for you to hold Duke than get even the early second round pick. Um, and my, I like play a lot of short bench FFPC league. So in my, in my, my eyes, a circ, a early second round pick is different. Cause not only you got the, it's the startability factor with Duke Johnson is frustrating. That's all it, nobody doesn't, nobody minds having Duke Johnson on their team. Everybody likes to see Duke Johnson on their roster. Just when it times to put him in their lineup to me, it's just pulls your hair out. You know, obviously if you Starting look at turn good though. May hopefully recency bias. Hopefully, Two weeks. Rec- it's not recent. Two weeks in yes, a row. Yes, the good recency, but the bad recency is eight weeks of. Man, I hope I didn't got I didn't start this guy not one time. No, you know, a f- couple games where he had four catches. What one game? All right, one game he had four catches for seventy three yards, and he got over ten points. But that might be the only ten point game he had all year. So it's just been really bad over there for Duke. But I get I see what you're saying, and I just wanted to make sure we covered that tonight. Um was even the recent bump of success for Duke Johnson. If you have somebody coming over the top for Duke Johnson and he's been killing you on the bench, I don't mind selling Duke Johnson, but I don't want you to sell him low. You know, given the old sell low, this is a little bit of a bump, so maybe you're selling high. I, I get what you mean by it's a lot of room for improvement for the entire offense. And Duke Johnson's a really, really good football player. I know, and every week, Hugh Jackson was saying, we need to get him more work. We need to get him more work. We need to get him more work. No more work was ever <laughs> given to him. And now he's getting a little more work. Yeah. And he's startable. Yeah. So I'd still be get, I'd still be trying to get in there. I, I have the good visions of Duke Johnson, and it's definitely not his fault. So, no. no. I and I like the talent, and that's not. what this game is about, right? It's about getting something before it becomes better than what it is. Yeah. But it's also anyway. about opportunity. And if you don't get it, then you're not getting fancy points. But you got to try and figure out when he might get that opportunity. Well, he just signed an extension. He's going to play behind Nick Chubb and with Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry's paid. Nick Chubb's a rookie on a, a deal, and it's not going anywhere for three years. And Duke Johnson ain't going anywhere for three years. So unless somebody gets very creative over there. Well, why are they going to pay him this money if they're not going to use him? Well, that's the Chinese riddle, Jay Wayne. Well, he got fired. Right. Coach got the fired. GM didn't didn't pay him though, and the GM didn't get fired. The GM didn't pay him. Well, no, no, the coach didn't new- pay him. The GM pays him. The well, GM but, but did- the current GM didn't pay him. Is that what you're saying? No, they did that in the off season. It's the current okay. GM. Okay, yeah, the current GM paid him. Right, and maybe that's why some of the coaches got fired too, is because I got a I got Nick Chubb over here, and I got Duke Johnson paid, and you're not them. using either one of them. Right. All right, I, I can hold Nick Chubb for the for the cheap second Duke rounder. Johnson. That yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I All can, right, I cannot sell Duke Johnson. I got him off here. in a deep bench league. Off air, he's like, oh, you can have him. You Short, can have him for that two, that two one. Let me get him. Short bench league, I'll take the two one. Yeah, I still will. I can't. You can't. It's killing me. It's killing me. Yeah, just can't even start the guy. Start over. Slate clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna take a break here. We'll come back after the break. Start clean. Clean start slate. Clean. We'll be back with more Mary to the game. 